Can you really run Gen 5 LT heads on a Gen 3 or Gen 4 LS? And if you do, how much power do they actually make? Hello everybody, I'm Richard Holder and as always, welcome to the channel. Have you ever noticed how answering one question leads to even more questions? I'll show you what I'm talking about. Hey Richard, can you install Gen 5 LT heads on a Gen 3 or 4 LS? Can you create an LTLS hybrid? Well, the answer to that question is yes. But guess what? There are a lot more questions involved with answering the first question. Yes, you can do it. Should you do it? What else is involved? Does it actually make power? Lucky for us, the guys at Brian Tui Racing have done exactly that. They have taken a set of stock L83 5.3 liter LT heads and installed them on a Gen 4 L33 5.3 liter LS motor. Can you do it? Yes. Does it make more power? Let's find out. Should you do it? Let's also find out. Let's find out how well this hybrid actually works. And then I'm going to show you a couple of upgrades we made to make even more power. Hey Richard, I have a question about a video that you did or a test that you did or a test that I'd like you to do or one that you didn't do or I have my own project that I'm working on but how do I get a hold of you to ask some technical questions? Well, you are in luck. I have a live feed nightly 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can join us on the live feed. Ask whatever question you want. What I do is start out for the first 10 or 15 minutes. I cover one aspect of performance, but then I open it up to questions in the comment section. You get to ask whatever question you want, and if I can't answer it, chances are we have lots of sharp guys that can answer it. So if you've got questions on your project, on a video, on a test, or something you'd like to see, join us nightly at the live feed, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Okay, guys, let's take a look and see what happens when you build a hybrid Gen 4 or Gen 3 LS and Gen 5 L83, combining the two 5.3 liters. Basically, we're taking L83 5.3 liter direct injection cylinder heads and putting them on uh, a, an LS Gen 4 L33 block with flat top pistons. As we'll talk about, there's much more to it than that, but let's take a look first and see what's going on with the power. And then we can talk about all the changes that were necessary to actually make that happen. And while it sounds awesome and we get good power, there's really a lot to that swap, a lot more than just cylinder head. So let's take a look. We'll start out with a basically stock L33. This is basically a flat top 5.3 liter. Uh, this was an aluminum block. It had 799 heads on it. It had a truck manifold on it. It was run with long tube headers, an open throttle body, an electric water pump, the way that, the way that they're normally run on the engine dyno. This one was controlled by a, uh, Holly HP management system and run on pump gas. So run basically in stock trim the way that these things would be with the aforementioned changes. 365 horsepower, pretty common, and 389 to 90 foot pounds of torque. See, they got a good, they got a good torque curve. But now let's see what happens when we do the upgrade. So now this is something that the guys from Brian Tooley Racing did. They took their, uh, because they make a specialized camshaft for this. So they took L83, which is the Gen 5 5.3 liter that you find in a lot of truck motors. So they took that cylinder head and, and installed it on this <laughs> Gen 4 L33 LS block. And as we'll see, it takes more than that. But let's take a look first of all at the power and see what happens when you upgrade and build a hybrid uh, Gen 3, Gen 4, and Gen 5. So we picked up, they picked up a lot of power. Our peak power went all the way up to 469 horsepower. Peak torque was all the way up to 420 foot pounds of torque. And here's what was necessary to make that change. So they did it, they did a camshaft and they did the Gen 5 cylinder head and intake manifold upgrade. So in this case, they ran a BTR specialized camshaft and the camshaft is neither a, an LS or is it an LT? It has LT uh, load profiles to work with these cylinder heads, but the camshaft is a specialized hybrid camshaft that is necessary because of the different valve locations 
on the Gen 5 motor, but it also has to have some uh, Gen 3, Gen 4 attributes so that you can run this combination, run these heads on the Gen 3, Gen 4 motor. So this camshaft had 644 lift, a 230-240X degree duration, they didn't specify the last number on the, dur on the duration, and 113 degree load separation angle. But when putting these L83 heads on this early uh, LS motor, it took a, a, a number of other things. For instance, one of the things is we had to have this custom camshaft. We had to have um, different length push rods. We also had to have the L83 rocker arms and valve covers. We also had to have uh, a Gen 5 intake manifold. In this case, this was run with an L86, the 6.2 liter truck intake manifold and matching throttle body. And also on the exhaust side, the L83 heads obviously require Gen 5, L83, L86, LT1 headers. In this case, they were inch and 7 eighths headers. But so run with the camshaft and then the stock heads because they were run in stock trim and basically a stock L86 intake manifold, we have pretty good power gains. You know, like I said, we went from 365 to 468 and, and torque was up uh, from 3000 basically all the way up. It should be noted that the um, L83 heads have a 58 cc chamber, so the compression is up a little bit compared to the 62 to 64 cc that we normally see on the 799 heads run on the L83. So now let's take a look and see what happens. Let's say, hey, Richard, I want a little bit more power than this, so I'm going to go to all the trouble to do a Gen 5 upgrade on my Gen 3 or 4. How can I make even more power? Okay, guys, if you want even more power and you're thinking doing a hybrid between the Gen 4, Gen 3 stuff and the Gen 5, so taking your Gen 3 short block, putting Gen 5 heads and stuff on there, camshaft and intake manifold, as we showed, we uh, went from this to this with our L86 heads, but we want even more power. So how do we get more power? Well, the guys from Brian Tooley Racing actually installed one of their intake manifolds on it. And this was a long runner version of their Trinity intake manifold. And you can see it obviously did very well. <laughs> it actually, uh, and they ran this with 103 millimeter throttle body. Although this has shorter runners than, than the L86. I'll go ahead and show you a comparison of that in just a second. But you can see compared to our stock motor, we're all the way up a good bit over 500, 506 or seven horsepower. Torque is up as well. 417 foot-pounds compared to down at 389 or 390. So if you're looking, and you can see this thing was run all the way out to 7,500 RPM. Naturally, these L83 heads with this camshaft did have a valve spring upgrade to allow them to run at this engine speed. So, you know, if we want to make power, <laughs> you want to make power at a higher engine speed. It's interesting to note how well these things ran and how high they were able to rev, given the fact that they were just bone stock L83 heads with a valve spring upgrade. Obviously, the intake manifold and camshaft contributing to where these things wanted to make power. But there is a trade-off here. So if we take a look at that, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of our stock combination. And here is a comparison between the L86 intake manifold, and I'll go ahead and label these, and the Brian Tooley Long Runner Trinity manifold. And you can see, even though it is designated as the long runner, the long runner versus the short runner, because there's a shorter runner that actually makes a little bit more power than this long runner version. But again, it does trade low speed power. But we saw that trade off comparing the L86 to this long runner version of the Trinity. From 5,500 on up, the long runner manifold from 55 to 75, which is a good RPM range for racing, but it did make more power than the factory L86 manifold. Below that, if you're thinking about running, you know, 5,500 and below, then the L86 long runner manifold obviously makes, uh, you know, more torque than this long runner Trinity style manifold. So again, intake manifolds always come down to your own specific choice. Where do I want to make power and how am I going to make power? How am I going to optimize that with the intake runner length? So now let's take a look at a comparison between the long runner and short runner versions of that Trinity intake manifold. We'll go ahead and we'll get rid of our L86. And here is the runs made with the shorter version of the Trinity manifold. So this is the long version and the short version. Here we go. You can see the 
The short version did make more peak power, 510 to 511 horsepower, but was only better above 6,800 RPM and up, and only by a little bit. It did lose torque, though, the shorter runner one. Probably not a good combination or, or a good choice for this particular combination. This thing has a 230 camshaft in it. It has a set of stock L83 heads. So if you're looking to make power and you want the best combination, I think of these, I probably would recommend the longer runner uh, Trinity intake manifold because now if you port the heads <laughs> and do some other things you really could make some serious power from this combination because let's face it making over 500 horsepower to 5.3 there that's pretty good especially when you did it with stock heads there you have it we have our hybrid we have our L33 L83 Gen 3 Gen 4 Gen 5 hybrid from the guys at Brian Tooley Racing with their custom cams which are available are much are older please make sure to like share subscribe ring the bell do all that stuff so you get notified when I do this testing.